you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe so you'll be notified of all future uploads. And check the description box below the video for important links and information. How you doing guys? This is Eric from RuleTheWasteland.com. This video is about why 90 plus percent of the preppers out there will find their bug out bags to be useless in the event they actually have to bug out. I'm going to be doing some case studies on specific scenarios that have happened in the United States and around the world in the past 20, 50, 100 years possibly. I don't think it makes a whole lot of sense to go farther back beyond that because society and just the face of the world looks so much different. But we might look at some. But I'm going to be doing some case studies on specific scenarios that required people to bug out or would require people to bug out if they happened where you live. And if you look at all of them, look at any of them that you think of, anything that people have happened, like uh, had to bug out, most of them have been localized, obviously, in real world scenarios. Just look at any of those scenarios or just think right now, if for whatever reason you had to leave your house at a moment's notice and you have your bug out bag ready to go, would you be actually just be leaving everything else? I mean, think about what's in the generic bug out bag. It's a bunch of wilderness survival type stuff, security stuff, how to start a fire, how to cook food, maybe bring some food. And that's all necessary. You'll need, you might need any or all of that stuff. And I think you should take it with you. But most people would still be spending a lot of time scrambling to get a bunch of stuff that they didn't want to leave. And most of it's not specifically related to survival, but the bottom line is that most bug out scenarios, probably 90% or more of the actual scenarios that may occur that require you to leave your house quickly are not going to be massive society ending shit the fan never coming home type situations. You might not ever be coming home to that particular home because it might be wiped out. And that's why you wouldn't exactly be wanting to leave just with your bug out bag. Are you really going to leave your pets? Are they prepared for you or any sort of financial instruments that you have, your gold or silver, all your cash that you have in your house, any valuables, are those things all ready to go with your bug out bag? Probably not. What about passports, birth certificates, important papers, family heirlooms, one of a kind pictures, anything like that? Is that all ready to go? Or are you still gonna need 30, 50 minutes or an hour or whatever to get all that stuff ready that you really, really, really don't want to have to lose. So that's the bottom line. When it comes down to it, most bug out scenarios are not going to be end of the world stuff. So things like pictures, financial instruments, deeds, whatever sort of one of a kind type stuff you have, and money and valuables are going to be something that you can't or really, really don't want to leave behind. Because it's not going to be some Mad Max, the whole world's fucked, so it doesn't matter if you have your passport, your birth certificates, or your um, actual physical cash. But even in a massive shit at the fan event, you're going to want stuff like gold and silver and maybe some heirlooms or pictures to remember people by. So it's important to keep that stuff in mind that you, you want to stage that stuff as well, not just your bug out bag as a standalone I'll just leave with this and I'll be fine. It'll keep you alive if you have a good bug out bag. And when it comes down to it, obviously that's the most important thing. But is that really the situation that you want to put yourself in to where you have a fully functional, fully finished, fully formed, whatever you want to call it, awesome, expensive bug out bag and still be scrambling around, rushing, trying to get things ready in the event of a bug out scenario? No. Obviously, if you're thinking about it enough to where you have a bug out bag, then it's important to put all these other things that you would really want to take with you in most bug out scenarios and have them staged in such a way that you can gather them quickly as well. Whether that's having like mop mapping out exactly where they are and having a big duffel bag ready just to throw it all in in three minutes or storing that in one place as well in a safe or something and then having a bag just that you can um, grab that all and go. You know, maybe make copies of these original photos if it's something like that, or heirlooms, and hang those on the wall and put the originals all ready to go in this bag, something like that. Obviously, you want to keep stuff like gold and silver and um, passports and important paperwork. You want to keep all that stuff safe anyway, so there's no reason why you couldn't have it mostly together. But that's the bottom line, is think beyond just the survival gear, because most bug out scenarios are going to, are going to be a situation where you will probably be coming back or going to a relatively stable area, but the immediate vicinity may be destroyed, whether that's from weather, a chemical spill, a terrorist attack, localized civil unrest. The, um, the larger and more widespread these events are, the less likely they are at the same time, which is good. 
So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have that stuff ready to go with your bug out bag as well, or if yours focuses mostly on that sort of um, never coming home type bug out bag system. Because, you know, if you look at these scenarios, most of the time, a, a, a real most likely to be used bug out equipment would be stuff that allows you to just camp, take all your valuables and then camp somewhere outside the danger area or survive in some kind of refugee shelter or something like that. So you're going to need mostly everyday stuff, not wilderness survival type stuff. But like I said, you want to be prepared for those major events too. And it's, so it's nice to have that, uh, what we could, you know, normally refer to as a bug out bag or a never coming home bag, but don't forget the normal stuff. You know, don't always think Mad Max, don't always think end of the world, massive shit the fan. Think of the real things that have actually happened. And like I mentioned, I will be going back and highlight, I plan on doing this over the next few weeks or months or whatever, is picking up five or ten real world events that have, requ that have required or would require you to bug out. And when I say bug out, I literally just mean leave your current location on a relatively short notice or extremely short notice. So, and you know, like changing political norms and stuff like that that require you to leave a country over a period of years or whatever, I wouldn't consider that bugging out. But like a disaster event where you have anywhere from zero notice to maybe a few hours notice max, I would consider that a bugging out. If you have more than a day or two notice, you know, it might still be bugging out like a hurricane or something like that. But when you have that much time, obviously you have plenty of time to get all this stuff together that I was talking about, so it's not really an issue. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the links in the description as well. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. And don't forget you can support yourself and this channel by checking out rulethewastelandstore.com where we have an ever-increasing amount of survival and preparedness gear, including one of the best survival fishing kits on the market.